This is a technique for MCR reconstruction. We can use this for acute chronic injuries, uh, multi-ligament uh, knee injuries. I've just drawn out our landmarks. So this is the medial epicondyle, and so this will be the first incision. Um, this is the landmark we're using for our POL reconstruction, which is one centimetre from the joint line from the top, one centimetre from the back of the tibia coming forward. Um, and this is our incision site for the superficial MCL, uh, which is over the pes bursa, uh, approximately in the average size patient, about six centimetres down from the joint line, but that uh, needs to be verified at the time of surgery uh, and checked for isometry. Uh, so we'll, we'll make a start. So first thing is to get between layer two and layer three. And you should be able to feel the media epicondyle. And once you can feel that, um, you, you feel for your adductus tubercle and go slightly proximal and posterior, and that is your first um, guide wire to find out isometric position and drill through and then just verify and check the position is correct and then over drill that 25 millimeters 25 to 30 millimeters with a 4.5 cannulated drill bit Then we get our Infinity Lock 5 tape, which has been unlooped and pass this through your uh, anchor fixation device. To the midpoint. And we knock it into position, keeping some tension and fixing the first point. And we check that fixation is nice and solid. So that is our femoral fixation point done. Then we move on to our um, P, uh, superficial MCL, which is the first um, one to fix. We make a two centimeter incision. Feeling down onto the bone. And then we pass one of our limbs of our suture tape well, and it's really important here to get into the correct layer so we're going between layer two and layer three and this usually requires a little bit of force passing that through the correct layer and coming out into that point and then passing a shuttle suture Cross and taking one of those limbs through that to that point. And then we have to decide our fixation point. So, again, approximately six centimeters from the joint line for the average size person. Um, over the superficial MCL. And then one of the key steps at this point is to check that isometry. So we wrap the graft around the wire and take the knee through a range of movement and feel for any movement. 
and that feels absolutely spot on. It's equally tensioned through full extension uh, to full flexion. So I'm very happy with that fixation point, so we're going to go ahead with that. So again, we over drill this to 25 millimeters to 30 millimeters in depth. So we're just going to recheck that isometry, make sure that, that is as we as we want. And that feels absolutely fine. So again, with the fixation device. through and then it's really important to tension this correctly so we find our point that we're looking to fix the position of graph 2 mark that out so now we're going to fix that in there That's a really solid fixation. And we just check that extension stability. That feels really good. So we're happy with that one. We can cut this flush to the skin. And then we go to our second fixation point. So again, we're looking, feeling for our landmarks. Uh, making sure we're at least one centimetre from the joint line. And with this uh, guide wire, it's really important to get the correct angle. You don't want to be dropping your hand. You don't want to be going too posterior. So it's coming right round, slight lift of your hand to make sure you're not going through the joint. Making sure that position is up safe. Again, we're finding our correct layer, passing that through. And always, again, checking for isometry. making sure that feels correct, which it does. Again, over drilling by 25 to 30 mils. So again, we measure our length and then mark to allow for the graft sinking in. That feels really nice and solid. Oh, there you go. And so that is our MCR reconstruction done.
So you get three, approximately one to two centimeter incisions, full range movement, and the stability. That's everything. So we have now sectioned the MCL, uh, both the superficial MCL distally and proximally, and I've released the POL. And so now we're going to test um, how this fixation is actually doing. And as you can see, it's really solid fixation. You can see it's doing its job there really well.